How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task... I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. What could the headmaster want? Gareth! Uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? Uh, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah, that's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. Well, there's one for my diary. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I... S simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes! Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, moustache paste. Yes, moustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Something is very wrong with Professor Black. Dittany and Booba Tuba pass. Moustache paste. Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. Professor, a word? 
Professor Black. Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Uh, <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh. Very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his house elf. There's no doubt in Scrope's mind. Ahem! Attention, students! I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the stunning banners of Slytherin. I shall be taking no questions at this time. Or ever. <laughs> Scrope! Oh, oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. 
Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. It is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. <laughs> oh, very well. Uh, toujours pure. There is another matter, Scrope. I confiscated this filthy diary from a student. It smells of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to do with this treasure? Uh, uh, rubbish. Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. Polyjuice potions wearing off. I best get out of sight. <coughs> ah, made it just in time. It's wearing off. <coughs> Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Revelio. Aloha, Mora. <coughs> 